All right, let's take it to Zamfara State. The police says its tactical operatives have repelled a large number of armed bandits in Shinkafi town. The team, joined by the other security agencies, carried out the operation on hundreds of bandits reported to have attacked the area. According to the police, one of the bandits was fatally injured, while the other escaped with bullet wounds from the gun battle that lasted several hours. The police has directed the immediate deployment of more security operatives to complement the existing security arrangements to curtail any further attack by the bandits. Well, for all these issues, let's bring in security expert Dr. Yahuza Egetso. Uh, Yahuza, glad to have you join us. Thank you for having on me. On Newsnight. Well, uh, again. four states in the Northwest have implemented limits on fuels, weekly markets, no motorbikes to curb banditry. Will this help, really? And how are they expected to make their daily living? Well, uh, I, I think it is very clear to everybody, to every responsible, uh, especially with the professional, that uh, the governors are only chas chasing shadow. Uh, because it is obvious, I have made mention in my interviews with national and international uh, media organizations and made my position very clear as professional that uh, all these criminals are known. They are 99% indigenous. And um, their hideout is known by state, by settlement, by political word, by local governments. And the only thing that is uh, becoming very difficult for our security operatives in the country is the fact that, one, their refusal to collaborate and corroborate with people like us who know the forest very well, so that we can tell them and guide them on the route and belt that link up between one community and another, so that they can know if we follow uh, the criminals from Saminaka, how do they escape through Ikara? And how do they go to Tudungwada local government uh, or, or Dogo local government in Kano state? That is uh, Saminaka and uh, Ikara is in Kaduna state. Mm -hmm. And then as, as, as well, if we follow or if we cordon a certain area, how do they escape? So you need to know this belt. You need to know the linkages between this geographical belt. And you need to understand the complexity and the quantum of to which these criminals can easily dodge your operative, uh, operative teams and at the same time ambush you. And that is why they have been killing many security operatives, inclusive of the military, inclusive of uh, uh, the DSS, inclusive of the police, and so on and so forth. Are it's because saying, of, uh, yeah. Are you saying that in the 10 or so years that Nigeria has been facing insurgency and terrorism, that the security forces have not been engaging the services of you know people uh, like yourself is that what Ab i'm hearing absolutely. Uh, from what you're saying absolutely is, is that a, a, an indicative of a lack of political will to tackle this since you're saying that these people these terrorists are actually known not only to the communities but to the uh, you know the military apparatus absolutely. across the country absolutely we have so, been mentioned this separately in the absence of all of this then what would you say is a way out? Because in the case of uh, Zamfara and Kaduna State, for example, uh, the police actually have called for immediate deployment of, uh, you know, more security forces to help out with an overburdened well, police I think and what yeah, have you. Yeah. What exactly is the way forward? The question you need to, and uh, every Nigerian will ask himself, yes. where did the Inspector General of Police mobilize the number of policemen, around 10,000 that are mobilized to support the, the uh, election uh, process, election activities that will take place tomorrow, local government election in the states. So if you have the capacity to mobilize those resources, why can't you mobilize the same resources to cordon the belt of nine local governments that, that, coordinate, that is coordinating a, 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 a kind of mechanism for these uh, bandits once you have this nine local government, nine to eleven local government that is between Niger State, uh, Zamfara State, Kebbi State, Sokoto State, and that of Katsina State, I'm very optimistic that to some extent you can be able to win part of the war. But yes, we commend them for the majors introduced because it's part of what we have been uh, making observations long ago, which had, hadn't been listed. So we commend the governors for listing it now. But at the same time, we want to tell them that the terrorists, this did not stop 
in any way, the criminals are still attacking the major roads, connecting the states, connecting the bilateral uh, country, that is uh, the bilateral relation, that is Nigeria and Niger. Because there was attacked in Shinkafi, which was uh, just reported now. Mm -hmm. And uh, in Kasena, there was attack yesterday in about three communities within the Puntua zone alone. And uh, not to talk of, day before yesterday, I had the report of 38 communities were attacked in 11 local governments. Right, yeah, and if this is happening, then uh, yes, of course, it is the impact of some of these measures being put in place and the coordination mechanism. But since you know where they are, w our own suggestion and opinion is you, if you can mobilize personnel for election, why can't you for local government election? Why can't you mobilize for a permanent solution? All right, Yahuzu. Yeah. Uh, let me talk about what El Rufai, the governor of Kaduna State, said. He, he said uh, Nigeria must apply force to bring banditry to an end, but then adds there must be adequate funding and equipping for them. How do you marry these two? And have you even tried to go to the authorities if, if they have not come to you? They say when the mountain cannot, when Mohammed cannot go to the mountain, uh -huh. um, the mountain will come to the Mohammed or, or something yeah. like well, that. Well, I think it is very clear in the uh, last, since the time, these issues of bandatry and the, uh, the armament moving around the common men started since far back since 2006. There are commissioners of police who are, who are now retired AIGs and DIGs, they are aware of the number of writings I started since 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 7, 8, and 9 for uh, uh, realization or observation, making observation and calling attention of the governments of Kebi State, Sokoto State, Zampara State, and Katsina State for the proliferation of arms and especially the arms that moves around in between the Benin Republic, the Niger Republic, and other countries alike. And not everybody ignores. So likewise, like, uh, to go straight to your question, yes, of course, I have written many letters. These letters have been submitted to the office of the SGF, the offices of the state's uh, governments, and I have made a lot of presentations. Even the National Legislative Institute, they invited me, and I made a presentation, and I prospered solutions, and part of those solutions are the ones being implemented now. And I'm almost on air on the national and international media. I have been on Al Jazeera, I have been on uh, 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 other uh, international, almost yeah. everywhere. Mm. So I think that that is a mechanism. That is another way. And I'm using it as a personal effort, as a kind of sense advocacy and sensitization towards gu guiding the, 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 the policy makers. Okay. So they will have utilized their senses as a leaders to say, okay, if this guy is bringing A, B, C, D, and said he has, there was a time I even have a fact about who are importing arms. I made, I pronounced this. There was a time when I know the four teams, arm, distrib arm importers, arm di traders, arm distributors, and arm transporters. You need claims, to understand this were those complexity. Investigated? Were those claims investigated? No, not, not really, because uh, the last time when I, had an inter when I had a discussion was highest level of authority as far as security is concerned in the country. Okay. The answer is, we'll get back to you. Uh, almost uh, uh, a year and something. Nobody called me, again, invited me. And I cannot chase the shadow. Oh, I right. am professional, I'm an expert, and my knowledge is within me, and I'm still sharing it and through okay. the media advocacy and sensitization right. I'm doing. We're, yeah. we're hoping, uh, of course, we believe they are listening and uh, hopefully they will engage people like you. Uh, Dr. Yahuza Getso, security and intel expert, thank you so much for joining us.